Hello? Hello, sir. My name is John. I'm calling on behalf of the New Jersey Department of Health and Senior Services. Yeah. To ask your opinions and beliefs about smoking. Oh. These will help us to improve programs to reduce teen smoking and help smokers who want to quit. Oh, um, I don't want to quit. Well, I mean, you don't, we're not trying to get you to quit. We're just... Yeah, I'm sick of these people who want to quit. In fact, I can't even go to the bar anymore and have a cigarette. It pisses me off. Can you do anything about that? Uh, I can't personally. I mean, I'm just, uh... I mean, with this information, would that sort of help? No, oh, definitely. I mean... I mean, will this information go to the people that might make smoking allowed in bars again? Uh, well, I mean, it's mostly... Because, you know, I'd rather, I'd rather be able to smoke in a bar and drink than to go outside and, like, um, you know, uh, smack somebody around or something. Right. Because the, the smoking calms me down. That's understandable. Um, well, basically, what the, the study... I can't about, even smoke at Yankee Stadium anymore. There's, you can't even smoke in, in the stadium. I'm outside. You can't even smoke at the stadium. Yeah. It's ridiculous. It's you know, I have a couple of beers over there, get a little buzz on. You know, you, you, can't, even, you can't even have a cigarette. So, I'm, you know, it makes me smoke more. When I come home, now, now I'm going to smoke a whole pack like in the nighttime because, you know, I know I can't smoke outside, so I get all my smoke as much as I can. I smoke like a chimney now. All right. Well, I even smoke cigars. I smoke cigars just to get just to get my, my nicotine filled. Okay. And anybody who don't smoke, you know, I don't even like them to come in my house. You know, anybody, that, like when I smoke and they don't like me smoking and, and, and it offends them, I tell them to get out. Just get the hell out. Because smoking is American. You know, it's the last it's the last American industry in this whole country. Cigarettes. Did you know that? I mean, they're, they're trying to get rid of all the, the American industries. And, and tobacco is the last thing we have. Pisses me off. Okay. Um, well, basically what the study is about is about uh, advertising, like targeting advertising about like... Yeah. I think they should bring the Marlboro Man back. They, they should bring that guy back. He was very manly, not gay or anything like these other fags you see all around on TV. This guy, you wouldn't see this guy on, on No Blossom or any show like that. Nah, not the Marlboro Man. Bring the Marlboro Man back, riding in on the horse and all. You know, he's like the Duke. He's still, he's still on magazines, isn't he? Well, may, maybe it is, but I don't read. I, I never read. I'm kind of illiterate, really. That's why I don't even read that Smoker's General, uh, Surgeon General thing. I don't even give a shit about that. I love to smoke. All right. Well, sir, the survey takes about 15 minutes. All right. Basically, we're interviewing people across the state to, about their views concerning tobacco. Oh, I love tobacco. You, you know, if I, if I, you know, if I ever have more kids, I'm going to let them smoke. I'm going to tell them it's okay. Really? It's, you know, all this, this crap they say smoking kills you. You, you can get run over by a car. You know, you can get, you can get syphilis and die. You can have, you, you know, anything can happen. So you might as well be able to smoke and enjoy yourself. I love to smoke. Smoking is good. Okay. And would you say that in general your health is excellent, very good, good? Oh, I'm strong as a horse. I think smoking helps me. You know, whenever I have a bad day or something, and I smoke, it relaxes me. It makes me better. So I don't go out, go out and hurt anybody. Right. And how old were you when you uh, first started smoking cigarettes regularly? Um, I guess I was about uh, seven. And you now smoke every day? Oh, I smoke every day. And on the average, when you smoke during the past 30 days, about how many cigarettes did you smoke a day? How many cigarettes a day in the past 30 days? Yeah. Um... I would say I'm a, I'm a good two packs a day. Okay. And I try to smoke more if you like. Did you smoke around this, about this much this last year around the same time? Same. Oh sure, sure. Every day. The only reason why I cut down at all is because it's so damn expensive. Uh -huh. I mean, you know, how do you expect a guy to, to to drink in a bar, do shots, and drink beers, and and pay seven dollars, eight dollars, or whatever it is a pack now for cigarettes? It's ridiculous. In the last six months, have you used coupons to buy cigarettes? Tampons? Coupons. Oh, coupons. Uh, no. Now, where do you get coupons? No, no. I haven't used coupons, no. I use cash. Good old American cash. I'd smoke the cash if I had to. I'd roll, this, I'd roll this, the, the dollar bill up and smoke it if that would, if that would help me. And in the last six months, have you uh, used uh, Camel Cash, Marble Miles, or any other similar brand or award system? I'm sorry, I didn't, I didn't catch that question. In the past six months, have you used any Camel Cash, Marlboro Miles, or any other similar brand or... Oh, you mean the rip the, the numbers off the side? Right. Well, you know, I was once saving up for an iron lung. You know, because I figured if I kept smoking, I would probably need the iron lung. So I was saving up for that. But they don't even have those. So then I stopped collecting them. 
And in the last six months, have you entered a tobacco company sponsored sweepstakes? <laughs> no. No. I tell you, I was in the uh, the Super Bowl pool, though, but I lost. I smoked a bunch that day. Do you usually buy cigarettes by the packer or the cart? I buy them by the cart. I buy them by the busload if I could. What, 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 I love to smoke. Really, I love it. Drinking and smoking. And smacking the wife around. <laughs> right, honey? She's scared. She's very scared. What well, brand do you smoke most often? Camel. Okay. I've been smoking, I used to smoke Lucky's. And you smoke cigars too? Yeah, I smoke cigars. And you smoke them every day, some days, or? Uh, I smoke maybe, I'd say, five cigars a week. After I, I pound a few a few uh, shots, I drink tequila. Do you, you drink? You drink it all? Yeah. Good boy. You smoke too? Uh, yeah, unfortunately. Had a boy. No, don't say unfortunately. You know, they're, 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 they're conning you. Don't worry about smoking. Smoke all you want. And in the past 12 months, have you seen a doctor or other healthcare professional? To get no, no, I don't believe in doctors. What do they know? Last time I went to a doctor, he was smoking. So what's that mean? And have you... I don't trust anybody who don't smoke. Okay. I mean, if you come over to my house and you don't smoke, I don't want you even here. All right. And have you ever stopped smoking for a day or longer because you were trying to quit? Hell no. No. Sometimes I smoke two at a time when I get pissed off. And how after you wake up in the morning... Do you ever sniff? Do you ever sniff the smoke from a cigarette? You catch your head that way, too. It's nice. You know, you take a puff and, you, and the smoke comes out the end, you sniff it. Gives you a nice burning sensation in your nose. It's nice. Okay. And how often after you wake up do you usually smoke your first cigarette? Like less than 15 minutes, 15 to 30 minutes? Or? Well, I, yeah, of course. Of course. You, you sit at the edge of the bed and you light one up. I have the ashtray right at the edge of the bed. And before I go to bed, I make sure they're, they're right there. I got, a, I got a real nice lighter, too. A Hogs and Heifers lighter. You ever hear Hogs and Heifers over there in Manhattan? Yeah. Yeah, well, I got a lighter from the Hogs and Heifers. I use that all the time. It's like a Zippo. It's got the Hogs and Heifers uh, logo on it. Real nice. I love smoking. They all smoke over there at Hogs and Heifers. Now you can't smoke inside the place. Really you, pisses me off. Would you like to stop smoking, or...? No! How about, what, what, you, aren't you listening to me? What's the matter with you? Do you hear what I'm saying? What, what, what I'm, I'm talking Spanish? What, what, am I an Iraqi or something? I will never stop smoking. I hope they pump smoke into my coffin. And which statement best describes the number of cigarettes you'll be smoking in the next six months? Would you say the same number as you're now smoking? More than you are now or less than I you? smoke as much as I can afford. Okay. I smoke as much as I can afford or, you know, and I bump cigarettes off somebody. But you feel bad, you know? You bump somebody a cigarette off somebody. It's so expensive now. You, you, you feel bad. Somebody asks me for a cigarette. Sometimes I don't even get to them because I want to smoke it myself. I'm not like stingy like that, you know? Right. And, and, like, I'd give you one, though. I, I'd lend you one. Like, if we were smoking buddies. You ask me for a cigarette, I'd give you one. What, what brand do you smoke? Hello? <laughs>